Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Spain in the Road to 56 mod. Uh, before we get started, I would like to uh, talk about uh, Sweden uh, because we have them as a puppet and some people seem to, or they're not a puppet, uh, they're a supervised state. And some people don't know what that means, uh, they think that they're a puppet. They are not a puppet, uh, even though I keep calling them that. Uh, they're supervised state, which is much, much different. If we look at managed subjects here, uh, look at supervised state, you can see that this is essentially like a kind of represent uh, Japan or Germany after they're defeated in the war. Uh, so essentially, you get a little bit from it, not much, uh, but overall, they're they're trying they're shifting towards autonomy. Uh, you can see they get a daily autonomy progress gain. So uh, they're going to become free eventually. There's only two options here to annex or to make them free. So we could build there and try and annex them. But because of that daily autonomy gain, it is really difficult to do uh, because you know, you're know you building here and then you gotta you know offset that little autonomy gain. So I mean, we could try and annex them. Uh, that would stop us from building our own place though. And yeah, I, I obviously don't want to do that. We need a lot of stuff right now. We are facing Germany. We don't really have the luxury of building in Sweden right now uh, to try and get them annexed. Uh, but uh, that means you can't do a lot of the stuff that people think that you can do. So for instance, uh, we cannot build their units. Uh, we d can't use their manpower and build their units. Uh, really, they're not going to do much. Uh, some people were thinking that there's a lot more we could do with them than we actually can. Uh, I don't even know if we can build in their lands, actually. No, we can't even build in their lands. Uh, again, it's just to represent you know, a defeated enemy. Uh, that's all. So nothing's coming of that other than the fact that they're in the faction, which is, is helpful. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into it, guys. Uh, we are working on the conquest of Portugal, trying to get these guys wrapped up. We're pushing over there. We're losing up here a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, let's just try and uh, get these guys wrapped up, which we just did. Excellent. Uh, so the Red Army is going to come up here as we attempt to... Uh, well, it looks like they're about to be attacked, so we're going to have to get some more troops to them. That's okay. Uh, and you know what? We don't really need the Red Army up here. We only want them right here for right now. Uh, we could also give them a planning bonus, too. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that looks pretty good. This army here will have less, uh, you know, less provinces they actually have to defend right now. I think so. I believe that's, meh, it's probably pretty close, actually. Uh, remember, we are losing in some of these attacks that they're doing. Uh, these guys were, uh, they did push us back here. Uh, so the cav units, as you can see, were attempting to do an attack there. Uh, so let's go and have the cav units, have one of each of these guys come up over here, uh, though not that way. <laughs> have them come up over here, and they're once again attempting to attack. All right, we're going to have to micromanage their movement here. Uh, let's take a look at the battles uh, in the sea. We lost two submarines, we know about that. Uh, they did lose a submarine and destroyer in Fort Convoys, though, Japanese convoys, uh, and a uh, submarine there. And this is gonna be a prime place for sinking of convoy, or sinking of uh, both convoys and submarines. Uh, but uh, we might want to, we'll see how it goes. We might wanna pull our own submarines out of there, have them have to go around or whatever. Uh, pull our convoys from going out of there too if it becomes like a killing zone as of right now we're not really losing convoys so i'm not really worried about it uh but yeah something to, to pay attention to also we need to pay attention to the side here and make sure that there's no uh naval battles we're not aware of uh because we uh hold up i meant uh, uh invasions that we're not aware of uh, because we are in a very vulnerable position um when it comes to defending against naval invasions because we don't have anybody guarding most of our ports uh so that would be that would be bad if they uh, invaded us. So we're getting troops over to here. Uh, we can't take advantage of this opportunity because we were defending here, uh, but now we can. So let's go ahead and make sure that we do that. Uh, we're gonna want to attack them there. Uh, they're going that way and they're almost there. Let's have these guys go here again, just attacking so that we lock them down as we attempt to try and get Lisbon cut off from the rest of the country. We still have to get that port as well, but that's okay. Uh, let's take a look. We're still holding out over there. Make sure we're holding out over here as well. They're not attacking there. Uh, let's take a look at the Dutch as well. I'm kind of curious if they're holding out. It looks like they are, but just barely. Did they? No, I'm not seeing the bonuses here. I was wondering if they were able to flood the lands there. It looks like that was not the case. They're not attacking us here either, uh, so that's good. Uh, and we are currently building up the forts there. We don't have any forts finished up yet, uh, so we're getting up to level three there. Uh, but no forts done in that particular province just yet. And then we're going to be getting those radar, uh, which will be useful for both the air war and the land war. All right, so let's go ahead and push up over here. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to have to wait a sec. 
before we're able to do anything else right now. These guys could probably go ahead and stop, although, no, it does look like they're going to beat us there if we don't. Uh, and there's an opening here, so we're going to take advantage of it. They are trying to get out here. Uh, they don't have any interest in staying here. And let's just send one of these tanks. All right, let the rest of them get moving up here. So I'm going to try right here and see if we can't cut them off there. Let's see if that works or not. Uh, these guys did get defeated uh, by them, so somebody has to get over here to hold that province for us. Because, yeah, they are about to take it. And Ireland just joined the Allies. Well, welcome. Welcome, friend. All right, so Lisbon should be cut off here momentarily. Let's take a look at the naval battles. Uh, two convoys sunk there. Okay. Uh, how about over here? All right, here we go. So uh, we lost the submarine. The British lost 10 destroyers, uh, but the Italians lost a battleship and three destroyers. Pretty good trade-off, I would say. Uh, and did we do... Yeah, we did do a bit of damage to all these. Uh, I wonder if we uh, helped out in this at all. Uh, we didn't help in that. That was definitely British. All right, you can't really see the damage that was done unless you go into the actual battle, which we did not. Uh, so yeah, we sunk a uh, battleship there. Excellent. Uh, and then here we sunk two destroyers, three light cruisers, and one submarine. So getting the uh, German uh, fleet destroyed, largely with our bombers. Uh, Italian submarines have been sunk here. Okay, awesome. Uh, we'll have to take a look at how the naval situation is going a little bit later. Uh, we are winning there because the cav got there. Let's have these guys go around so they're not defending there. We need to help out here uh, if we can get there in time. I don't know if we will be able to. All right, so I'm not entirely sure what these guys are doing. Uh, how about don't do that? Uh, these guys are doing such a shoddy job defending our territory. <laughs> Good God, all they got to do is manage the front. Just just, just make sure that every province is guarded. For Christ's sakes. Uh, the competence of the AI. <laughs> uh, the United States has called Ireland to the war. Awesome. Uh, so... Not entirely sure. It looks like we were... Yeah, that guy was defeated there. We were having some difficulty, man. Uh, a lot of difficulty here. Let's go and attack here. Try and help out there. Uh, and then let's go and also get uh, one of these divisions that actually has a bit of organization coming over here. Can't get our troops over here quick enough. Uh, let's take a look here and see if what we got. Three submarines. Okay. And also... German submarines. Awesome. They're really uh, putting down the enemy submarines, uh, anti-tank rifles. Okay, I always forget to zoom out here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we want to get next. Uh, I think we're done with all the infantry equipment for right now. Yeah, that's the way it looks. We're also getting the medium. Now, I said this in the pinned comment. I forgot to get the subs. Uh, I actually thought that I'd researched them and I forgot to build them, but yeah, I didn't even research them. So we needed to use that research bonus so that we can get better submarines. It's going to be 38 days to get those. Uh, and yeah, we are doing a great job here in the channel sinking uh, submarines. Yeah, this is this is really going to devastate their abilities to uh, uh, operate in the seas and do what I was kind of afraid of. You know, them sinking a ton of convoys. It doesn't look like that's going to be much of a problem at this point if we keep sinking submarines as we've been doing. Uh, so let's go and pull this back because we're not getting enough from them and give it instead to the uh, Soviets. And yeah, battles just haven't left right. There'll be less of this as as we get their fleet sunk. Americans lost submarine, but uh, we sunk a ton of their. Well, we sunk two light cruisers, four destroyers, and we shot down a bunch of planes. Uh, our fighters are starting to really have an effect here, uh, as you can see. And yeah, also we lost a plane. All right, uh, so just kind of it's just slow going, guys. Uh, that's okay. And this is open, so let's go ahead and push forward. We don't want any of the divisions here assigned to that front we don't need that don't need it guys all right so lisbon's cut off uh from the rest of the country uh but they do still have supply here so uh we need to try and get control of lisbon i'm gonna see if we can't do that by leaving that open maybe they'll move there uh and we're gonna try and keep all of our uh, red divisions here to do a launch an attack there uh, it does look like we're about to lose that there Hopefully somebody will come and help. Yeah, it looks like we have somebody help, and we might have to attack to make sure they don't move there. Uh, we did lose that province. Damn it. All right, but that's okay. That's okay, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and stop this attack here. Uh, and they are moving there, just as I was hoping they would. Awesome. Yeah, because that doesn't cut us off, guys. It's fine. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. I thought they might do it if it was open, because the AI is stupid. So they did do it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look again at the battles here. I don't think that's the battle. Uh, and one submarine, six destroyers. Excellent. Uh, just kind of go through these. I don't think there's anything sunk here, though. Just doing a little little bit of damage to those submarines. Okay. 
and uh, three convoys sunk there. Submarines are doing a good job. Let's take a look at our fleets, make sure that they're all out there operating. And we have lost uh, submarines, unfortunately. Lost a few of them. Uh, you can see their numbers are kind of low. We'll, we'll add some to them as we get them constructed. Uh, but we need to get the better submarines out there. All right, so we're letting these guys move, and they're there. Excellent. We need to wait till the other division moves as well in five hours, and then we're going to try and move down there uh, and see if we can't grab it up real quick with the motorized division. And yeah, these guys are now in a terrible position. And we're just going to lock them down just temporarily. Uh, and this is also open here, so let's go ahead and move. Get those guys going there, and then let's have this guy help out here. And there we go. Lisbon is ours. Uh, so they have nowhere to retreat to. And we'll get those units destroyed now. Yeah, this should not take very long. Just going to support that. Get those two Portuguese divisions uh, destroyed. Lisbon is in our hands, and so we're going to be changing up our situation there here in a minute. Uh, and then also... Oh, yeah, they, they bombed our, uh, our ships a little bit. Okay. Let's take a look and all the stuff that's happening here in the Mediterranean. And then we're going to get those military factories assigned that we got from taking Lisbon. And again, the early part of the war is kind of, you know, I go, go kind of slow here. You know, you got a lot of naval battles going and stuff that I like taking a look at. Uh, we lost another submarine. Damn. All right. But it's, it's definitely worth it when you consider just how many uh, enemy submarines we've sunk of theirs. Uh, so we're getting eight military factories here. Uh, let's go and take a look at the, the situation how it's uh, been going here in the war. So losing a lot of fighters, guys. Uh, we have some major fighter uh, you know, losses that we need to replace. Uh, light self-propelled artillery, light tanks need to be replaced and motorized. Okay. So I'm a little bit worried about manpower. That's starting to cause some issues. Uh, let's go and deploy those guys. I almost think we should pull back uh, one of these conquistadors. Yeah, let's go and do that so that uh, they can replace the motorized and in the tanks and the other divisions. And besides, as I said, the, the manpower is not in a great position right now. Let's see if any troops are done training. They are not. Okay. So we have uh, quite a few uh, things equipment wise we need to get. Let's go ahead and go into. We're going to go to five times here. Uh, let's get two more uh, fighters going. Uh, the motorized is now short. Uh, light self propelled artillery is kind of short as well. And is there any like infantry type stuff? Anti air. That's what we're short. We're still short on anti air, but I think we have 12 going towards that. So we won't put any more. Uh, the, the issue here is not lack of factories, it's a lack, lack of efficiency. Okay, uh, so let's do more motorized. And I, I just feel like we're going to need a lot of fighters, guys. Uh, a lot of uh, our factories going towards fighters because we're taking heavy losses in the skies. Uh, so let's go ahead and trade for those those resources that are going to be needed to build those planes and trade with the well yeah we can get enough from the british though uh if they lose any then we won't uh be able to trade with them any longer and steel it's always the damn steel guys let's trade with the us okay there we go so that's been solved but the oil situation is dire uh we have major oil problems we're gonna have to give them like a ton of factories to keep oil supply up. Uh, another big part of it is we don't have a large stockpile either. Uh, we just weren't able to to build those. Let's take a look at our civilian factories. We should have extra ones. Yeah, we still have a lot. Uh, so yeah, it's still not not good enough. Uh, the oil that I'm trading for, I thought that'd be enough. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like not even making a dent in the amount of oil that we are using right now. Uh, but you know, we do have our planes out there, tons of planes. We have all our submarines out here as well. So all that's having its effect. Uh, taking a look here, it does seem that we are about to lose there. So let's go and move one more division uh, over there. Make sure we don't lose. Uh, but yeah, we don't have the forts built there, I don't think. We got one done. All right. Yeah, that's not going to have much of an effect there. Okay. Uh, so we're ra wrapping that up. I don't know what that guy's doing. Let's have him go this way instead of whatever craziness he wanted to do. Uh, and just grab that real quick while we kind of wrap this up. The Red Army's going to be moving soon. Pretty soon, uh, we're going to move them. Uh, these guys don't need to attack there. There's no reason for that. We might grab that province because that would cut the size of the front down by a bit. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I don't see why we wouldn't be able to win there. Uh, we might need to actually attack here just to lock those guys down. It does seem that we're able to push forward there. All right, so we did win here. Uh, we're going to have to defend it now, though. And is anybody attacking from here? They're not. I was going to say we can kind of help, help them out there. All right, so I'm not seeing... 
Yeah, not seeing any uh, further losses along here. Let's get this guy going over here now. And Sweden wants to join the war. Yeah, let's go ahead and say, come on in, buddy. Uh, they don't have any divisions or anything, but their ships can help, I guess. All right, so let's just go through these again. Yeah, we are losing a lot of planes, man. A lot of planes. Uh, one light cruiser, one destroyer sunk. Okay, yeah, the uh, Axis Navy shouldn't be around much longer, guys. And then we won't be clicking on these anymore. Uh, they will probably still have submarines, of course, but uh, they're not gonna have a lot of those either. Look at how many damn submarines we're sinking. Uh, they are just, it is not uh, going very well uh, for the U-boats, man. Yeah, they're having very little success. They're not getting any convoys sunk. However, we are losing here. Uh, it's yellow. Uh, this is not, this is not holding out the way I thought it would. But here's the thing, guys. Remember, we are playing on uh, with the AI difficulty ticked up by two. So we got to realize that they get some significant bonuses from that. And uh, yeah, they're able to do much, much better on that front than I thought they were going to be able to. All right, so it's trying to get some wins here so that we can move the Red Army to take the last port. Uh, I just want to push them back just a little bit while the Red Army's over here. And uh, then we, we know we might also cut those guys off there just because it's four divisions. Uh, so yeah, why the hell not? Uh, so let's try and get these guys cut off here and just support here and so that we can wipe those four divisions out. And then also decrease the front significantly, puts a river in between us and them. Uh, so pretty helpful. They're not really attacking anymore on this front. I think they're done. <laughs> they're like, nope, we're done. All right, so there we go. Excellent. So now we want to go ahead and wipe out these divisions here. Uh, four divisions, four Portuguese divisions that can be wiped out. Pretty helpful. Let's get this guy going over here because we are about to lose. They're about to break through here. Uh, those four divisions, you know, are going to take a little while to get destroyed. They're not lacking supply just yet. They got 48 hours of supply. Uh, let's go and dip back through here and just take a look what we did. Mostly uh, them bombing us, it seems. Yeah, uh, we're going to be losing our own ships soon. Let me take a look and see what they're set on for repair, our fleets. Make sure that they uh, are on high priority. I want them to be repairing and not getting sunk. Five more uh, Italian destroyers and a German light cruiser. Uh, they have a, uh, the Germans have a ton. There's another Italian destroyer there. Uh, the Germans have a ton of ships here in the Mediterranean, a lot more than I expected, but look at how many troops they have patrolling here. These are all troops that we can sink. Uh, so yeah, um, also I'm not moving here, which is not good. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get pushing forward here. We're gonna keep that division there. I don't think we'll be able to beat this guy over there actually, 19 hours, no, two days and four hours. All right, let's push forward here then. I wanna cut these two sides off here. Uh, so yeah, it seems that they do have troops there as well. If we take that port in Casablanca and then cut them off right here, uh, then the troops here won't have any supply. So that's what we're gonna try and get done. Uh, that guy's just going to stay there and protect our port since it is our only port there. Quite risky, I know. Uh, you know, it's all about priorities, guys. We could have built the port, but then we wouldn't have built something else. Uh, an, an additional port, I mean. Uh, yeah, look at all these submarines, man. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to take a look at the naval losses so far because I'm curious to see just how many submarines we sunk in the conflict. Yeah, we're only like weeks into the episode right now. <laughs> Because we're just, uh, it's going pretty slow. Let's go and attack here. These guys are not able to do it. Uh, remember, these divisions are cruddy, so that's part of that reason here. But really, uh, organization's a little bit low as well throughout here. Uh, these guys are losing here. Let's go ahead and give them a uh, cab. Well, we are losing the route here, actually. Yeah, they are pushing us back. Okay. Um, there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. I guess I'm going to put this guy over to here. Put these guys over there. Uh, yeah, just not. Yeah, we cannot get those guys defeated. All right, let's go ahead and send this guy in now. See if he can get it done. And apparently there are some divisions here that aren't assigned to this front. Uh, this guy's not. I don't think that guy is either. No, he is. All right. Yeah, I'm not seeing the little icons for it. So what we're gonna do is let's take the Red Army off of this front. Oh, I wanted to take them off. I'm gonna put them on that one. Let's help them wrap that up real quick. And then we're gonna move the Red Army. Let's help them take it, take these guys out here. Uh, that will leave that open though, so that's risky uh, because there's nobody protecting that as of right now. This whole area will be kind of opened up, I think. All right, we almost got those guys destroyed, so let's go ahead and see if we can't finish them up. Uh, Lend lease offer, hell yeah, we'll take that. 
Uh, yeah, we definitely are losing territory up there. Uh, holding out here, though. Uh, so that's good news. Let's take a look at the Dutch. They're holding out as well. Very good news. All right, so we do have to dip through here. Eventually, they're going to run out of ships for us to sink. All right, so a lot of submarines sunk there. Let's take a look here. I remember we are helping bombing there as well with our, our naval bombers, our torpedo bombers. And our submarines are continuing to get bombed here. That's right, I was going to take a look at the... Let's do that now because I forgot last time. I want to take a look and make sure that our... Whoa! How did that happen? Are they all just repairing? I thought I had turned the, the automatic split off off. Apparently I did not. All right. Um, yeah, I could have swore I did that. Uh, I guess it's just that one that didn't. Yeah, cause they only have two ships. The rest are all repairing it now. And that's not what we want to happen. I'd rather have the whole fleet go. Uh, our battleship did take... Yeah. That's going to take forever to repair. Yeah, these guys are going to take a long time to repair. Our repair party is set to high, uh, so they should be repairing now. I think all of our dockyards are probably going to go to uh, repairing uh, ships for quite a while here. But I think they are set to high, though, because that is a default setting. I don't recall ever changing it. Uh, division's still not done training yet. Okay, uh, so Red Army needs to get this completed. There we go. They are done. Uh, so once they grab that up, let's go ahead and have the Red Army now come up here, where we are, in fact, losing territory, it seems. So let's go here to try and get control of that port now so we can cut all these divisions off so they can't get the hell out of here. And no more divisions can come in as well. That would be another benefit. All right. Uh, so, yeah, Red Army is going to start moving up there. Uh, you can see that they're definitely pushing forward up here, but the Red Army is coming to assist, so I'm not too worried about it. And worried about here. I don't know... Yeah, why the divisions are taking so long to get up there. They're just not, not doing a very good job defending at all uh they just uh the ai is like just leaving provinces wide open uh the americans lost a destroyer the italians lost four good trade-off i think our bombers are playing a massive role in this yeah i i I'm, oh i can almost guarantee that they're sinking the majority of those plane uh, those uh ships there because uh, you see that's where we seem to be doing the most damage it's right there where our ship our planes have very good coverage and you can see in all those battles uh our planes are there so yeah, they're not breaking through here, but it's it's not holding out the way I'd hope it would. Uh, I don't know why they won't send another uh, dude there. Uh, I have no idea why they won't. Let's go and take another one of these divisions, have him go over there, because that one does look like it's going to be lost soon if we don't. We did get direct ground support. We don't have any more bonuses for these right now. Okay. Um, I, I thought we had, had a few more, uh, but maybe we haven't gone down that route yet. So we could keep going down the plains. And I said that I was going to keep one investing towards planes. But I want to be able to get the snorkels uh, really close to when we get the submarines. In fact, we might just wait to get that because it's just a matter of weeks. Uh, oh, wow. Here we go. This is the German surface fleet. Uh, they lost seven submarines, but they lost three battleships, seven light cruisers, and five destroyers. Uh, so that's a big part of their, their surface fleet. Uh, so they can't possibly have much, much more uh, when it comes to their surface fleet. I don't know why these guys are moving over here. Like... You have a completely wide open area here that's not being defended, and it's no regard to send troops up there. Uh, they're just doing such a cruddy job uh, protecting this frontier. Uh, thank God uh, we have this Red Army here, or we would have lost in Portugal. Uh, so it's a good thing that I sent those. Uh, we are losing there. Man, we're going to lose that. Uh, I am sending one division over there. He gets there in two hours. So that might make the difference, but I don't know why we're having such difficulty. Let's go and send another division over here as well. We're about to lose there. Uh, I know that they get that that bonus, as I said. They're they're uh, getting that bonus for you know us putting the difficulty up. But a little bit surprised, guys. A little bit surprised. Let's go ahead and move every division over one. I know they lose their entrenchment there. Ah, shit. Won't be able to do that with this guy though, huh? We'll have to send him all the way over. And again, just send another division over here because yeah, we are not doing well. Uh, I'm trying to hold that uh, territory there. Now, we'll be able to get more troops over there, but we have to hold out until we get the Portuguese situation done. Uh, is there any other battles? Yeah, we're going to keep on keep on looking at these. Seeing what we got sunk and what we lost. Yeah, we lost, we've lost our share of uh, submarines as well, guys. Uh, how about over here? It doesn't look like we're having really any anything's happening over there. Must not be any convoys over there. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so Red Army is here. Now they need to get their organization back up before we can launch an attack. Well, maybe not. Let me take that back. There's like a wide opening right here. 
So of course we'll launch. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that because Porto is wide open. <laughs> well, it's not wide open. There are troops there. Uh, but what we can do is go ahead and attack there. Of course, these guys don't have a lot of organization, so if they attacked us, they would likely defeat us. Uh, we will take any lend lease offers that people are willing to give us. And look at the fuel, man. Maybe we should ask for lend lease of fuel. Like, yeah, we were just the oil that we're getting. We're not converting it quick enough. Uh, so, yeah, maybe. Who would we contact? I guess the U.S. Let's see if they're willing to to lend lease us some fuel. No, wait a minute. We want to modify uh, and try and see if I can't get fuel, though. Yeah, they would be willing to accept that. All right, well, let's go ahead and, and ask them for that. And I'm also going to contact the British about the same thing. Uh, just trying to get some damn fuel, man. They would not accept. Okay. How about? Uh, I wonder if the Soviets would give us anything. Nah, they're not willing to. Because the oil oil situation is bad. And I keep forgetting about the Africa situation. I almost think I should put the AI under control of this. Just because, yeah, we're not really doing anything here. I guess we can go and attempt to attack there. Uh, the Italians have moved troops over here, by the way. So there's that. And, oh, they pushed us back here. Oh, shit. Yeah, they got a vision right there. We should probably get over here and protect our port. Alright, so let's go ahead and start uh, moving back here. Because, yeah, we are not in a good position. Uh, yeah, we're in a vul very vulnerable position right now because uh, I haven't really been paying attention to the Africa front All right, So those guys are going there, so we'll just attack over this way and We could probably win here. Yeah, we can win there So instead of having this guy, let's have him back up and then go over here And one more German submarine sunk excellent. Uh, so the yeah, Africa situation is not good uh, We need to get this wrapped up here guys. Let's go and see if we can't push forward this way have this guy come over here and uh again not gonna attack there just yet okay are we losing any more territory on the on this front uh these guys are trying their best to hold out what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one division and attack here to try and help uh, them so they don't lose all right looks okay let's take a look here shit man like nothing i do will help the situation we are sending two more divisions over to them so hopefully that'll make the difference uh but yeah we're having some difficulty on that front guys but Portugal, Portugal's almost wrapped up. There we go, we have moved there. Uh, these guys here are about to cut us off. We're bringing another division though, so let's go and attack them there. Uh, we did get somebody there, but it's probably not gonna hold out for very long. Uh, let's go and attack here, just try and help out. And here as well would be another good place for us to launch an attack. Uh, and I guess we can send this guy in. Again, just trying to help out. Um, these guys can now pull back. It does look like we're gonna lose there, which would result in us getting cut off. Hmm, okay. Could go ahead and go across the river. I don't think we should expose ourselves any more than we already have, though. All right, uh, let's go ahead and have these guys attack here, then. Maybe we can cut off somebody. Overall, though, it doesn't look, yeah, it doesn't look good. Let's get these guys pushing forward. Just trying to get a win somewhere. Okay, uh, and Winning there, excellent. Uh, so that turned out okay. Uh, and now this is green, now that we got the more troops. All right, uh, so still holding out there. How about the Dutch, how are they doing? Not good. <laughs> how about over here? We're doing okay there, excellent. Uh, so yeah, we have to continue taking a look, kind of peeking uh, at all of our uh, borders, seeing how we're doing. Uh, it does look like we're about to lose here. I almost think we should back this up now. And Let's go and have this guy push forward here. We're going to grab that real quick. And trying to get there. Uh, I almost think we should go ahead and take the railroads here because... Yeah, well, wait a minute. He, he's decided to change up his position. He was going there, I think. And now he's going here. Two days, 18 hours. Will we get there before him? We will. All right, we'll just defend it then. Okay. Uh, so let's just take a look and see if these guys are done training. They're not. Yeah, just real slow going, guys. And Netherlands has capitulated. Damn. So that's more uh, Axis troops that are going to be coming at us. Uh, there's not really any way to avoid that. Really trying to get Porto, guys. I don't know if we can get it. Uh, a lot of red is what I'm seeing here. A lot of red. No matter what I do, I can't really, I can't get uh, any wins here. Uh, but we at the very least are locking them down for a little while. Uh, let's go ahead and send a tank unit over there. Just got to hold out here. We did lose there. That's probably for the best, honestly. 
we're not cutting anybody off here. Uh, we just need to get that damn port. That's all really what it comes down to. But first, we got to stabilize this front. Let's take a look and see. Uh, we got a submarine here, and yeah, we are going very, very slow, guys. When it comes to time, that's okay. Uh, I don't want to lose <laughs> against a very much, uh, very much more powerful empire than us. Uh, the Germany is is very strong. You got to think about how long they've had all those uh, factories. Also, because they own that territory, uh, they. Uh, we might as well pull this back. This clearly did not work at all. Let's go and pull that back. Let's let them have it. I want to attack here. Uh, so let's see if we can't get a win there. Probably not. You know what? We should probably just wait. Let's let her get our uh, organization up and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just give it a little bit of time here. Uh, we're not really losing anywhere. We are attempting to do an attack there. We're going to stop it, though. All right. Uh, so yeah, this doesn't look bad. We have a lot of uh, provinces attack Porto from. Uh, I, I don't know if we'll be able to get these guys cut off at all. We'll just have to wait and see. And Greece has capitulated. Dark times, man. So yeah, more and more fronts are getting closed up in Europe, which is going to allow the Axis to concentrate. Oh, we lost a destroyer. How sad. Uh, which is going to allow the Axis to concentrate on us, guys. Uh, so this is something concerned about. Uh, we do have this extra destroyer here. Uh, let's place them into... Uh, I think this one will need it. That patrol fleet. I think they're the ones who lost the, uh, the ship. Uh, a lot of allied uh, ships sunk there. All right. Yeah, things are... Uh, we had an initial success, the Allies did, and things are kind of starting to turn around here. The Dutch and the Greeks have been defeated, uh, and uh, we're having difficulty holding some of our territory here, as you guys can see. As many troops as I put here, they just can't can't hold it, man. Uh, just go there. Help me out, man. Yeah, just not able to hold the front. Uh, we need to get more troops over to them, but we got to finish up Portugal. Uh, so let's, let's, let's go. Uh, just try and get our organization up so that we can attack Porto. Uh, if we bring enough troops, maybe we can get it done. Uh, they did push forward there. I don't know why they keep on attacking, man. It's so frustrating because they uh, deplete their organization and then they attack us and they easily defeat us uh, because we, you know, we don't have any organization because we did a dumb, dumb attack. All right, so all of these troops are here. Uh, we're still getting another guy there. Still more coming down, but let's just take a look and see if we get a win here. Uh, see if we can we can defeat these guys. Uh, so let's go and support with them, and then support with like two of these. And see if we can't get control of the port there. Because remember, we get that port there, uh, all of the troops here are cut off from supply, and then it's it's the end for them. Uh, we are green here, and we are green there. But it, I don't know how much longer it's going to remain in the green. Uh, we need some some assistance, man. Like, what are the British doing? Like, they're here. Why not defend this this uh, actual front with us? Like, what are you doing? Are you planning an invasion? Are you doing anything to help out in the war effort? That's what I want to know. Uh, and we lost another submarine. Uh, the British lost a destroyer. Got two more Italian uh, submarines sunk. And lost some planes here. Okay. Uh, so what we might want to do is take a look at the air situation. Uh, we are controlling here. Um, not here, though. We're probably losing a ton of planes here. I almost think uh, like it might be a good idea to, to take back some of these. Let me see how we're doing. I mean, they have so many planes there. I do want to contest, though, but I wonder how many planes we are losing here. And how short are we on, on fighters right now? We are extremely short on fighters. All right, is there anything we can tick back on? Uh, maybe, like, infantry equipment? I know that we're losing a lot of infantry equipment. Yeah, we're losing a lot. So probably wouldn't be wise. We think we were at, like, 15,000. Now we're at 10. Yeah, we're losing a lot of equipment. There's not really any adjustments I think I can make uh, there. All right, well, whatever. All right, so almost got Porto, guys. And Ace Pilot promoted. Who dares win? All right, you got to say it sassy like that when you say it, guys. Uh, so uh, we can't modify our government, but again, that's for the one we don't care about. Let's go and dip back over here. And uh, yeah, we are going to lose that. There's no way we're not going to lose that. Shit, man. Hmm. Two days and 17 hours. I don't think we'll get there in time. Yeah, we are definitely going to lose that province. Yeah, I would be surprised if we we're able to get there in time. Um, yeah, we can't pull from there. Could send one division, I suppose. And then take our best division here to go over there. Uh, he'll get there in two days, three hours. That might give him enough time to get the organization up. They're not attacking anywhere else on the front. If they attacked the whole front, we'd be screwed. Uh, yeah, we lost another destroyer there as well. Okay. Uh, and here we go, naval invasion. They are going to attack our island here. Uh, we do have a little bit of assistance from Canada. Remember, we have those forts there as well. Uh, I don't think they're very large, but 
It's a level three fort, that's not bad. Uh, it's gonna be hard for them to, to attack there then. Uh, I, I feel, feel okay about it. They did quit on this one, they gave up there. Oh, there's a British invasion to help relieve the pressure off of us. Excellent, uh, or a little bit anyways. Uh, so yeah, the British have successfully invaded Brittany. Okay then, uh, they have a port, right? Yeah, they have, they have a port, so they're getting supply. Uh, it's not a lot of troops though. I'm sure the Germans will push them back into the sea, but they've got uh, that 40 convoys, nice. Uh, how is that affecting the Germans? Let's just take a look. Uh, should be on war support here. Eh, they're still at 100%, okay. Porto will be ours, guys. Mere moments away from getting Porto into our hands, and that will, once again, cut them, off all for, cut them all off from supply. And then we just gotta wait. Just gotta give a little bit of time. And Portuguese Republic capitulated because of that. All right. Uh, so we got all their equipment. We also got encryption completed. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, oh, we're done here. Awesome. Okay. So, could get the radar. Uh, again, though, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can get here. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think we've built out the radar enough to justify getting another branch of it. Uh, how about here? Yeah, we're not close enough to 1943 yet. I suppose we'll go ahead and continue with the air doctrines then. Uh, or we could do naval doctrines. Uh, we haven't really won in the seas yet. Uh, the escort efficiency would be useful. I don't know if there's anything that will give us any AA, increased AA attack. I don't really see anything. Uh, so let's do air doctrines because we are losing in the air. Uh, so our choices here are, let me just see here. Uh, air wing mission experience gain and air uh, generation chance. We want this one. Uh, they both give experience the same amount. So basically, do you want aces or do you want air superiority mission efficiency? For me, that's a pretty easy choice. Let's go and research that. Uh, also, we did uh, trade a, a destroyer for a destroyer. Uh, because of the, the taking of Porto, we now have... Uh, three extra factories we need to get assigned, which, you know, it's very clear where those those factories should go. We need fighters, even though I know that ticking this up does decrease the efficiency in the long run. It'll be, uh, it'll get us something. We do have dockyards. Um, I'm just going to build one more of these submarines, and that will get it done in January if we give them one more dockyard. How are we doing on convoys? We're doing okay. Uh, let's get more destroyers built. That's what we're losing right now. So let's get more destroyers, and then also... We don't really want that in November, do we? No. Uh, We're already going to get it in November, though. I guess let's go and do a convoy, then. Okay. So we need to trade for resources. We are really, really short on the resources, guys. Uh, not not good, man. No bueno. Uh, and steel, which we'll have to get from the U.S. And good God, man. The fuel. Damn fuel. I mean, we're trading like so much uh, for, you know, fuel here, and it's just not enough. Uh, let's take a look at our civilian factories. We only have seven going towards construction right now. Wow, because uh, we're just trading for so much. And we have more military factories. Okay, um, I guess I hadn't registered yet. Not entirely sure there. We are going to lose there, guys. Uh, I don't think there's any way to stop this. I mean, we get there in 23 hours. Maybe if we... We'd have to attack with both... Here and here. Oh, they can't do it. <sighs> yeah, that won't do it. All right, I think we're gonna finally lose it. We held it for as long as we could, uh, but I don't think we're gonna get to keep it any longer. So we have a ton of military factories uh, putting any more towards fighters besides just getting up to 15 wouldn't be wise. Uh, let's see, I know that we need motorized. Yeah, we need motorized, we need light tanks. Yeah, okay. Uh, torpedo bombers is also looking kind of low, so let's go ahead and get more torpedo bombers. Uh, we'll just go up to four for right now. So torpedo bombers, motorized, light self propelled artillery, tanks. Uh, we'll probably get a lot going towards tanks there. Uh, more towards infantry equipment to update would be nice. Uh, how are we doing on the other equipment? Because I know we're losing a lot of it. Artillery is still looking good. Anti-tanks looking good. Support equipment is looking good. Okay, uh, so light self propelled artillery and the tanks down here is what we need. Uh, oh, never mind. It looks like we signed them all. All right, there we go. Uh, that does mean that we need more resources. Good God, how are we doing here? Uh, I keep forget. I just keep neglecting Africa, man. Uh, so let's go ahead and trade for more steel from the United States. And we also need rubber. Luckily, these guys still have some rubber because uh, the I think they're still winning against the Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. 
All right, so that fixes that. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here. Let's go ahead and have, I really wanted to cut these guys off. We just need to take one province. Uh, they're kind of difficult to do right now. Maybe if we attack there, we'd win. Yeah, we would win. All right, we're gonna make that happen then. Let's go and attack here as well. Uh, they are winning there. Let's go ahead and, oh, we lost Casablanca, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they still have supply. Looks like our troops here are trying to hold out, but I think we're gonna lose this. Uh, that is a big reason where, why we're hurting on oil so bad. We, we lost our oil supplies. Okay. I guess we'll try and hold out as long as we can. We might try and pull those divisions out though and have them come over here though, because uh, that would, I think, be beneficial. We might need to pull these guys off of the training army. All right, so we did get another division there. One more day, I think this guy's gonna be there in mere hours. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's no way we're getting there in time. Maybe. We're there. Aha! <laughs> Just barely, man. Just barely got there in time. Still green there. All right, so we're holding out still. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal with the situation here. Uh, these guys are all cut off. They're gonna really want control of that port there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some attacks here. See if we can't uh, finish these guys up. All right, so defending there. Let's go and attack here. Let's let that guy go. Get a win there. And then let's go and start attacking over this way. See that they're trying to get out there. All right, so that's green. I'm gonna attack over this way. Just attack with all these guys. I'm not gonna attack across the rivers if we can avoid it. And we will attack there. Let these guys leave and then go across the river there to grab that province behind them. Okay, uh, so trying to get Portugal wrapped up so that we can bring our troops back over to here. Still red right there. Um, bring another division there. Uh, let's go ahead and have, oh good God. Yeah, there's nobody, there's nobody to pull from. Okay, what I'm gonna do, these guys are not attacking on these weaker flanks here. So let's go ahead and have this guy assigned here and then have one more assigned here. They're just not attacking there for whatever reason. And we need more more troops here because uh, yeah, they're, they're winning. Uh, let's go ahead and have that guy go immediately back to the front. I could have him go over here, but yeah, I don't. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this guy come over to here. And you know what, just send another one too. Just so they'll slowly be getting over there because they're only inclined right now to attack that one province for whatever reason. Uh, they just, it's the weak spot. They know it. All right, so we did win there. That cut these guys off, excellent. Uh, and let's go and attack here now. Let's try and get these guys wrapped up. We need our troops, man. So we can bring them over here. Uh, and also in Africa uh, where Looks like we are being pushed back a little bit. Uh, how did we do over here? Uh, I think we lost those divisions. I should have pulled them back. All right, I was gonna pull them out, but I thought we had more time. Thought we had more time, guys. Five destroyers sunk there. Uh, a lot of stuff here happening. Uh, I'm mostly seeing our planes being shot down uh, while we attempt to bomb them. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are really, really short on fighters. I kind of feel like we need to pull back here, guys. I know that having the air support here is is very helpful, but how many planes? Well, we actually have control of the skies right now. All right, well, I guess we'll keep them there then. Sunk another destroyer there. All right, just having a massive deficits when it comes to planes. Uh, and I'm seeing both of these are red now. Shit. Yeah, damn it. All right, so we're sending two over there. Let's send one over this way then. I probably should have sent, no, they're about the same speed, Never mind. Just having a lot of difficulties trying to hold these provinces out, so we do have to pay attention to that. Uh, we're gonna have to send more troops over there. I almost wanna go inside the Red Army. Um, could also send them to North Africa, though. All right, let's go and attack here. See if we can't cut. I mean, we still need to get Casablanca, of course. Oh, and they have that port there. You know what? I mean, what are we getting from here? We're, we're not even getting the oil yet without Casablanca. I mean, we're not really getting anything. I almost wanna just go ahead and pull this back. I don't really see any reason uh, to do this. Yeah, there's really no point on this. I mean, we, we can let them, we'll, we'll attack there because we're winning. Let's just pull these guys back, let them the, defend here. But I think we're gonna just have to pull these these back soon. Uh, we're not not gonna win there with the number of troops that we have. All right, so uh, let's see if there's, all right, we're losing there, we're losing here, surprisingly. Let's go ahead and take both of these guys, tell them to stop their attack, not gonna work. Uh, we are winning here though, so let's go ahead and have them wrap these dudes up. Let's go and attack over that way uh, and see if we can't 
Okay, we can attack there, though that would be a win. That's okay. Let's send another division. Just lock them down for right now. Yeah, they're trying to get over here. Just a little bit more troops here to wrap up, which, once we get these guys here done, and we ran out of civilian factories. We are still holding out there. Uh, I think both of those guys are going that way. Let's have him go over this way, because remember, we're sending more divisions over here. These two. Uh, so we're still holding it, but just barely. It's been challenging. Uh, holding this as well. They have stopped attacking there. Let's take a look at our forts there. We are getting one more fort done. Okay. Uh, we have no civilian factories right now. We're trading them all away. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull back uh, wherever we can. Like here, we're trading for too much aluminum and too much rubber as well. Let's try and get some of the civilian factories back. Okay, um, so almost got those guys destroyed. I'm really curious to see the casualties for this this episode. In fact, the episode's already almost over. It is over. Yeah, we got, we're got at the end of it here, guys. But we've got something done. I know it's going slow. Um, I, I think it's best that we, we play this very slow, guys. I know we only got like a month in in this episode. Uh, but, again, I, I uh, we're, we're managing a lot of fronts. I'm micromanaging it. And I want to make sure that we don't lose. Uh, because we are... As I've said before, uh, the much weaker uh, power here. Let's go and pull these guys back because they can easily be cut off. I think we're going to have to pull them all back. I'm just surprised with the lack of help that we're getting from, from our allies right now. Uh, destroyer sunk there. Yeah, we're just going to kind of dip through all the here and take a look at the uh, situations. Uh, is there anything else? No, it looks like we looked at all of them. Okay, so holding out great here, like I thought we could with those fortifications. Uh, this is just a balancing game here, uh, and this is one reason why we're playing slow, is because if I just focus on Portugal and just neglected this, they would be uh, they would be in Barcelona already. Uh, over here, we should have these guys wrapped up soon. Uh, let's go and take a look at the casualties, uh, both in sea and in land. Uh, so, do we want to look at... I mean, we could just look at all of them, it's fine. We have 6% war effort in that uh, in the total conflict. But against the Germans, we have 10% war effort. Uh, so we've lost 72,000 casualties, 52 of those by the Germans, 15,000 by the Portuguese, 2,000 by the Italians. Let's take a look at how we did against them now. Uh, 567,000 casualties for the Germans. We did 449,000. Look at that. 52,000 or 53, to be fair. It's almost 53. For 450. <laughs> pretty good, guys. Uh, pretty damn good. UK did 64,000 of those casualties. So they've taken a lot of manpower losses. Now, we have a lot more fielded manpower than they do. Quite a bit more. I'm guessing they're probably losing a lot of troops in the sea as well. They always do. Uh, let's take a look. The Italians, 44,000 uh, casualties total. Uh, we did 34 of that. They only did two to us, so not bad. Let's see other... Japan's taken 2.04 million casualties. Quite a bit. India's done the majority of that. We'll have to dip over to Asia before we end this. And just a peek over there and see how things are going. Uh, the United Kingdom's lost 527,000, South Africa 102, India 389, British Malaya 189, Chile 189, Yunnan 131, they're almost defeated, same with Shenzhi. Uh Common turn Soviet Union's lost 579,000 casualties, but that's just against the Japanese faction. They are not at war with the Axis yet, unfortunately. The British do seem to have been defeated there, so that's more troops that are going to come down to our border. A lot of American troops... Or, yeah, American troops and submarines out there. Hope they're not broke again. We've seen the Americans get broke where they're stuck out in the sea. All right, so this is the situation in Asia. Pretty damn good. Although it does look like Japan might be pushing back here a little bit. Yeah, uh, we still have this naval invasion here. Yeah, they haven't actually done the invasion yet. Okay, so that's the episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, even, if we did kind of, we, even if we did kind of move a little bit slow, uh, as I said, I think it's for the best. Uh, at least for this initial stage here. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching.